It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. What you're looking at is my neighbor's brand new, beautiful 32-foot center console. Hey, well, good deal, you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus, and this is my neighbor, Ed Redler. And Ed and I live on the same canal in Jupiter, Florida. And Ed, you're my financial advisor. I kind of know how successful you are, all right? Why right. did you limit yourself to a 32-foot boat? You can afford a much larger vessel. I have a limited turning space in the canal, and this is about the maximum I could uh, move up to. Okay. What do you call this particular brand of boat? Who, who makes this boat? This is a CV. Okay. Now, there are different types of boat builders. There are production boats. There right. are custom boats. What do you call a CV? I would say it was a semi-custom boat. So you can kind of get a lot of different accessories the way you want to lay out a boat. Correct. Okay. Well, I want to bring everybody up to speed. About three months ago, you invited me to go fishing on this craft with you out in the Atlantic Ocean. Right. And the seas were just like this today. I mean, they were flat calm. Right. We were drift fishing. We were bottom fishing. We were doing a little bit of trolling. But we get a cold front in the wintertime about once a week. And the seas went from what to what? They went from dead flat to about four to five. OK. Ed said, John, you're looking 32 foot boats. You know, I've been doing it for months. He said, why don't you get behind the wheel? You're in five foot seas. Drive this boat 40 miles an hour back to the Jupiter Inlet. I did it. We got back. I said, I'm done. I'm sold. I want a 32-foot CV. And what we're going to be doing today here at Ship Shape TV is we're going to be heading off to a boat show. A lot of people do that when they're looking for a new boat. And I'm going to see what's available in the 32-foot size range. I also want to try to set it up at, with the manufacturer, just like you, to where I want to bring the film crew in, and I would like to see my boat get built. I know you did that down at the factory. I think that's really, really cool. Now, we're also going to have a lot of experts from the marine industry joining us today. And speaking of experts, our first one has to deal with this item right here. This is what's called a wipeout eraser. And if you have any scuffs or blemishes on the boat, I am telling you, this is a tool you might want to consider. So Ralph, if you could, take it away. <laughs> 